<laughs> hey guys, it's Spokey here from Juki's Fabric Shop and home of Juki Junkies, and I am here with Tim, our Juki rep, and we have a really cool video here today. We just kind of want to introduce you to the Juki Tajima Sai Multi Needle Embroidery Machine eight needles here so it stores lots of colors and he just does such a fabulous job of educating me personally on this machine so he's gonna fill you in on what makes this machine so special i'm gonna ask questions for you guys and you'll get to know a little bit more about it and see what makes it so extra special all right tim so in your words let's hear it what makes the machine so special well let's start with redefining embroidery because you're talking about a machine and actually, the Tajima Sai is actually in a system, not just the machine. Okay. So when you're going shopping and you walk into the store, you, you say, I'm looking for a multi-needle embroidery machine. Right. But in reality, we're not selling just a machine. Right. We sell it as a bundle. So it's a system that the consumer is going to buy. So don't think of buying just the machine. You're going to walk in, they're going to show you the machine, right. but there's other pieces that go with it. Software is very important when you start getting right. into multi-needle machines. As you know, I, one of your videos the other day, you were talking about doing things on the software, right. digitizing, digitizing your own padding. Yeah. That's one of the features that's right. in the software that comes with the machine. So it's all together. Like you get the machine and the software that does digitizing and like customization, Photo right? stitch. Right. So I can take a photo and run it through the software and it will create an embroidery pattern oh, from yeah. that photo. Mm -hmm. You can also sketch pad, draw on your computer screen oh. and it will follow that line and assign stitches, which mm -hmm. you actually can control. Oh, okay. But that's not all of it. That's like the fun portions yeah. that kind of make it easy to play with getting into creating your own patterns. Right. But you also want to be able to manipulate patterns. So okay. remember, we're a commercial style machine, so our screen is kind of basic. Mm -hmm. But our software is very powerful. Right. So we can do things in the software comfortably seated at your desk or, you know, right. lounging like on that. your bed with the laptop on your lap, you know. Yeah. You can then send it to the machine and come over and sew it. So I'm not standing at the machine for 10 or 15 minutes yeah. trying to do something. I sat comfortably to take care of it. That's more like detail oriented too. So like you can fine tune it versus sitting here for an hour trying to make sure things are how you want them to look. Exactly. Right? I like that. A lot of people want to do just a little quick thing. Right. That's great. Are you thousand okay? patterns. Yeah, thousand patterns built into it. Right. Fonts are built into the software. Monogramming. I can type. Yes, there are some monograms. I can mm -hmm. type on the screen and whoop, send it to the machine. Oh yeah. yeah. So, so I, I didn't do it. spend a whole lot of time. Don't, don't get me wrong, there's letters in the machine. Right. So you can do letters in the machine mm -hmm. as well. It's I just, just play faster with those. and easier. <laughs> yeah, we were playing with those earlier. Yeah. You know? yeah. But it's faster and easier to sit comfortably and do it on the PC. Right. The other nice thing about that is that people don't realize this, you're actually saving it on the PC. So you're creating your own backup of what you're working on on the oh, PC. Yeah. Right, right, right. How many times have you started something on the machine, forgot to save it, oh my gosh. and you had to go back and recreate it? Yeah, right. Well, on the software, you can automatically save, save it. it and then transfer it. So you it. can do it USB. Mm -hmm. You can do probably a direct plug too, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. then I... Ethernet connection on a e network. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So a shared network. Right, Correct. right. I talked about that on the live show. Right. So that's very fun because my computer's upstairs, mm -hmm. both the Psy in my house sits downstairs. Right. So I was like, okay, I take the jump drive, I run downstairs, I put it in, I pull it up. No, I just send it across the network to the machine. Nice. Walk downstairs, it'll show me on the screen that I've got a pattern that was sent via the LAN, via the network. Nice. So I can just access it. And then the nice thing is they're automatically stored in your machine. When you pull up a pattern in the machine, it stores oh, it yeah. for you. That's right. You don't have to tell it to hold that pattern for you. It right. automatically stores the patterns you send to it. You can pull them up later. How many patterns do you think you can store in the machine? Oh, I don't know. I know there's 12 pages. However many fit on 12 pages. <laughs> well, there's more than 12 pages. That's that's on this machine. But you can store 250 patterns in the machine. Oh, wow. Then it will start aging them out and start getting rid of them. Mm -hmm. But oh, okay. that's only good to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I want to keep certain patterns. So there's a way to mark some of them as a favorite. Then they oh. will not automatically drop off the memory of the machine. Nice, nice feature. So I don't have to worry about storing it, mm -hmm. saying manually go put it into a folder. The machine will do it for me automatically. That's nice. That's really nice. 
So you had some other questions, I think, about the, the machine and functions and things. And remember, we are a commercial quality machine. Right. We're yeah, that's a, what I didn't understand. Like, what makes a machine commercial versus, like, the other machines that look very similar to it that right. aren't really labeled commercial? So we do not manufacture this machine. Tajima is one of the largest embroidery machine manufacturers yeah. in the world. Wow, yeah. It's their commercial, they don't make a home machine. Mm -hmm. We make home sewing machines and we right. make industrial sewing machines, but we right. don't make embroidery machines. That is their core business, is embroidery machines. So when we, when Juki went to them and said, you know, we'd like to carry your machine, we knew we were starting off with a commercial a quality machine. Right, and you they can, make it. And they make it. And you can run or this Juki. machine 24 hours a day. That's right, yeah, because it's that commercial, Exactly. Means business type of machine. Exactly. Right, right, right. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Yes, and they actually sell this. They sold this before we picked it up, but now we have it. We've been very pleased with the quality of the machine, the software that comes with it. It's just dynamite. Yeah. We didn't talk about the other things that come with it, though, also. Oh, no, we didn't. We just got so excited about the software. I know. Well, the software is just so much fun to play yeah. with. But, you know, part of that system, mm -hmm. two large hoops. Oh, that's right. Two small hoops. Right. Now we talk about large and small. Our large is eight by 12. That's right, eight by 12. That's a big space. Yes, That's good size space. You can cover the back of your shirt quite comfortably with an eight by 12 inch pattern. Right. Your four by four inch is two more hoops, smaller hoops. So I want to do yeah. quick pocket things or sleeves. Gotcha. There are a whole bunch of other hoops that are optional, but I saw some. There was like one for socks. Yep. That was pretty crazy. I would love to play with that. There's a shoe one. There's a shoe one. So if you wanted to do embroidery on the side of like a Converse, you know, high top. That is so cool. Fit in there. And boop, Maybe one day. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. That's awesome. And then your baseball cap. Very important. Right. People like to do their own baseball caps. I want to do custom baseball caps for a family right. gathering so that everybody has the same baseball cap. Mm -hmm. That That's like comes a whole business with, in itself. Yes, that comes with the machine as mm -hmm. part of that, that large bundle. And you bundle. get two. You get two baseball caps. Right, right, right. So I can be running one. Prepping one. And prepping one. Oh, fast enough. So it's not like I have to that commercial wait in between. Flare. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that commercial flair. I like that. Now okay. you talk about the commercial flair. Mm -hmm. We run at 800 stitches a minute. That's right. And there's like, I've heard some machines go faster, but yes. you were explaining to me how even though other machines go faster, that this machine like maintains its speed the Correct. whole time. Correct. The, the theory behind speed is a couple of points that people need to realize. One of the things is the fastest the speed, 1,000 stitches a minute, right. 1,050, mm -hmm. 900, 850, 800, that's optimal speed for a running stitch. Right. A running stitch is like a stitch line or right. a filled in area. Yeah. Where most machines lose their speed mm -hmm. is once they go to, believe it or not, mm -hmm. satin stitching. Right. Because it's making this jump stitch. That's this decorative stitch, yeah. Exactly. So a lot of machines, oh, I have a thousand stitches. But when they go to satin stitch, it slows down. They're automatically starting at about 800. Oh, okay. When Not they get to down. really wide, they could be down at three, 400 it's stitches like, a minute, mm -hmm. really slow. Yeah. We actually started at 800 and we only really dropped about 600. 600 okay. stitches is about as slow as we go with a really wide satin wow. stitch. Yeah. So we can maintain that speed, which mm -hmm. means faster. Exactly, which it's means I get quicker. through my patterns, I'm saving myself time, right. so that's a nice feature to have. It's all about saving time. Our head also moves a little faster. Our trimming mechanism trims through faster. Mm -hmm. So these elements all of speed up. all add up to save you time, time. and make Commercial things player. easier. <laughs> They're also a little quieter. Yes. We are using different yes. motors than what is regularly used on a lot of the machines out there. There is a difference between a stepper motor and a pulse motor. Okay. So. I tell you what, turn the machine off. Okay. And let's have it go through its startup cycle so you can see, and hopefully your consumers that are watching the video, because I'm gonna be quiet once it starts up again. Quiet. You're gonna find out how <laughs> quiet these motors actually are in the startup cycle. This is actually my favorite thing about the machine. <laughs> and it's like whisper quiet. I turn it on and we're all like, <laughs> Go okay, ahead, flip okay. it on. Let's, let's be real quiet about it. So it does this little load, and then it'll go through its startup cycle. Startup cycle is where it checks the sensor for your frame.
that was like you can't even Did you hear, hear that? I think you heard us breathing more than that. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> holding our breath. Yeah, we're like, but <laughs> the loudest thing you heard was when she had to cycle the thread cutter. That's right. not necessarily to be done at the beginning mm -hmm. when you don't have a hoop in, but if you were right. in the middle of a pattern and you stopped, you'd want to clear that thread mm -hmm. so that the hoop is going to move. But then you saw the hoop move and you didn't hear anything yeah, because quiet. the motors are that quiet. It's just smooth. So it always smooth. sounds just like smooth when it's running. The couple times I've ran yes. it, it just sounds so smooth, you know, so easy it is it's easy yeah. it's consistent the right. movement is precise mm -hmm. so that's where that extra quality of the commercial world comes right. in that flair <laughs> that we can now offer to the home embroiderer that wants to step up from yes. a single needle to a good multi-needle with mm -hmm. all the features and things right. that you could want so the biggest question for the people <laughs> is updates right so since this machine oh. like tim said is like a full package right so you're getting not just the machine you're getting the full package you're getting the tools that you need to be successful the entire way you're not just getting a machine then you have to figure out like to where to buy the software right customizable software digitizing software it's all together so big question is what happens with updates right so we get this software and you know a month later the software comes out better or there's a version two a version three or the machine needs an update how do customers go about that? What do, we, what do they do for those updates? What does it cost them? Well, that's a really good question and a really good point because I had this happen to me. I bought a piece of software. Oh, no. 95 oh. days later, there was an upgrade. And I'm like, oh, okay, no. so I just spent X number of dollars. Oh, my gosh. Now I've got to buy an upgrade. Yeah. Upgrades don't cost anything from Juki. Even on the software? Even on the software. So, and recently there was an update on the software, which did some really minor changes, but it mm -hmm. did some other things behind. One of the things it did, I thought was really interesting, is it improved that communication across the network between okay. my computer and the machine. machine. Yeah. The little tweaks that they mm -hmm. find they have to make, it's great. No cost. You simply download it from your mm -hmm. user site. That's nice. Upgrade your software <laughs> and your PC. Firmware on the machine is the same. You okay. download a new firmware, put it onto a jump drive, mm -hmm. you put it onto the machine. The machine is so easy to update. Wow. You put the drive in and turn it on. The machine will check the drive and bring you a screen up that says, oh, there's an update on the drive. Do you want to run it? Oh, and So okay. you simply touch the install button, basically, so and easy. let it do its thing. Yeah. It's so easy. And wow. I think right now Simple. we're on like 2.3 or something. Mm -hmm. And you know, a couple of years ago we were on 2.0. So wow. there's been upgrades along the way. Yeah, but so they that's just nice, drop in. Because you, you get it evolving. Oh, okay. You know, some people they warn you when they're doing an upgrade, oh, we're gonna right. update your software, you need to have a backup. Be careful. <laughs> right. Yeah. It doesn't touch the memory of your patterns. That's so nice. you're not gonna so lose all it. your hard work doesn't go anywhere. Correct. Unless you tell it to reinitialize the machine. That's and nice. if you tell it to reinitialize the machine, it's like you're setting it back to the factory specs as it right. came out of the box. That's nice. So you get this evolving machine without having to pay for anything. So you're paying right. for this machine. It's going to get better. It's not going to cost you anything. And you just get to keep business running as usual. So that's pretty amazing. And this is just a little bit on this machine. I mean, there's so much more to learn about the software. The software really needs to be like its own video. But I just really wanted to take advantage of Tim being here today to go over this machine because it's just such a beautiful machine and it's so well put coming out of his mouth and there's going to be more videos coming with this machine too so if you guys have any questions or concerns thank you so much oh. if you have any questions or concerns be sure to feel free to reach out to us we're an authorized juki dealer here and we'll make sure we take care of you we drop ship these machines directly to you so it's a super easy process no matter where you are um, and you can give us a phone call at 813-661-9000 or send us an email at sewingmachines411 at gmail.com make sure you like this video Video. make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're always posting videos and I have some more videos in the works on this little guy right here so um, make sure you do that because we're posting every Sunday so thank you guys so much and we'll see you soon